about endocrine disrupting chemicals. These are chemicals that are known to disrupt the delicate hormone balance in our system. They can block or mimic estrogen and all of our other hormones in the body. So mostly they're gonna be found in personal care products. I've even seen them in food. Um, you can also find them in cleaning products and even cookware. But today I'm gonna to focus on personal care products. So you really wanna read those labels. Get that box out in your magnifying glass and check for things like coal tar, which um, is often listed. Sometimes there's formaldehyde in mascara that maybe isn't listed. And then you're gonna find things like petrolatum or liquid paraffin, um, mineral oil, tulane, xylene. Tulane is often found in fingernail polish. Um, skin lighteners and brighteners contain a compound called hydroquinone that's an endocrine disruptor you want to avoid. Triclosan is in most antibacterial hand soaps that the FDA is trying to phase out, so you want to make sure you're avoiding that. I've even seen it in toothpaste. Also, you want to avoid um, anything that has a scent. That is going to contain a, usually the words fragrance or perfume on the label, but it's a um, usually up to 200 different chemicals known as phthalates. There's synthetic plasticizers that hold fragrance onto that product and make it linger longer. Those are endocrine disruptors. And then of course the biggest one are going to be your parabens. So methylparaben, polyparaben, propylparaben, anything ending in paraben is an endocrine disrupting chemical. I've even seen parabens in a package of corn tortillas at the grocery store. So reading your food labels, your product labels, your cleaning product labels is very essential to avoiding those endocrine disrupting chemicals that are pretty abundant in the market right now, but easily avoidable if you just read those labels. Take care.